And boom, just like that, the rich get richer. Alabama lands another big time commit for the 2025 class. But before to the channel for all your great content here at the Sharpshooters Podcast. But let's get into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we just land a big time commit in Caleb Cunningham, the six foot three, 180 wide receiver out of Mississippi. Let me tell you something about this boy. The boy's a dog, man. Man has strong hands, can run through tackles, and he's perfect. And he's great after the catch. He can get away. He doesn't have like um, Tyreek Hill speed, but the kid has speed. He's a dog. And you talking about one-on-one -on -one jump ball? Easily a dog, man. We just landed a major one in Alabama. Now, I know his uh, whole recruiting process has been like up and down, like, Auburn was leading at one point. Ole Miss was leading at one point. Mississippi State was leading at one point. Then you come to Alabama. Then Alabama leading at one point, which everybody was kind of skeptical because it seemed like everywhere you went that they were your number one. But from all the recruiting experts and from all the insiders, they all were saying the same thing, that this uh, – visit was different from all the others and you can just tell by the way he was uh acting and just being around the guys or whatnot then you see on his social media with the gloves on that can be that can be misleading sometimes they just have gear so it doesn't matter but today he commits to the alabama crimson tide which is so major because we remember like early in january we were nowhere near his, uh, I think it was his top 12, but uh, his top schools. And then you take a visit down, uh, I believe, on like March 23rd during that weekend. He said he didn't even want to leave, leave the campus. That was a great sign right there. So you could tell easily from the best wide receiver coach in Jamarcus Shepard, just keep hammering trying to uh get this kid to come down to alabama just letting them know like you see what i just put in the uh, nfl draft that can be you and you already see what alabama already has in the nfl that can be you you can be that next great one you can be that next great one on the wall like with the uh Devonte smith the julio jones the amari coopers the calvin ridley's like come on man and the best part about all this we can possibly get two more five-star receivers. Got Derrick Meadows. Um, he pushed back his date. It was supposed to be today, but he pushed back his date. We can, on July the 20th, he can possibly commit to the tie. And then Khalid Lockett, another big-time five-star receiver, can commit to the tie. And these are all big receivers, I think. Uh, Caleb's just uh smallest. He's just six three, and I think Kalik Kalik uh is six three, and I think Darren Meadows six five, if I'm not mistaken. But you talking about jump ball here at Alabama, man? I just can't wait to see what they have cooking up next for this wide receiver room because this wide receiver room is going to be iron sharpening iron. That we haven't. So this is exciting times with the type. I expect more big time recruits to come. But Caleb Cunningham is with the type. I know we got him as a uh, commit right now. It's a long way to December. Just be patient. But I believe this kid is going to stick around. He wants to be great. And what I love about him, he's a country boy. He he just a country boy. I just I just love them boys out the country, man. You can just tell they just want they want it more. They want to uh achieve big things. And I'm just happy that he committed to uh the Alabama Crimson Tide. And I expect big things out of big things out of him his senior year and expect him to do big things when he comes to Alabama. 
So everybody, just keep being patient. We got more five stars coming. Shout out to Coach Kellen DeBoer. Shout out to, to the GM, Courtney Morgan, Jamarcus Shepard, all the guys that has uh, made this uh, whole transition at Alabama just feel great. And I expect big things from these guys in the future. But I'll catch you guys next time on the next video. And hopefully it won't be too long when we have another big time recruit come. Peace.